everyone, Gabriel here, and today we're going to learn how to do automated data capture and then proceed to do some corrections using IntelliTags. First thing we're going to do is click on the New Batch button and then click on the Job Wizard button. We are going to name this job Invoices and then click on Next. We want to make sure we have selected two OCR images and then activate IntelliTag Search. This is the automated data capture and then automatically detect type. Then we click on Next and we select from the list the languages from our documents. On this case, I have United Kingdom invoices, so I'll select it from the list and then click OK. I have single page invoices so i'll select the single image documents option and then click on next now we're going to use the default invoice fields with the default validation so i'll select it and then click on next the output is not relevant to this tutorial so i just click on next again on this summary window we can see whether we have everything we need or not on this case, we do, so we just click on Finish. Now we make sure we have our invoices job selected here, and then we click on the Create Batch button. Now I'll just drag and drop the files from the Windows Explorer into Kernoscan to add the files to the batch. On the grid view, I'll just select all the documents and then process them. We can see that most of the documents were captured successfully, but we also have some errors. So on the grid view, I would just select one document with error and then double click on it to open that document on the data entry view. We can see that there is a problem with the invoice total. On this case, it is being detected on the wrong location. The actual invoice total is up in here. What I'm going to do is just click on the invoice total field, make sure I have selected the IntelliTag search tool, and then I will create an IntelliTag for this total text right here. And then I'll make sure the IntelliTag's looking for the nearest valid amount. And also that the IntelliTag is only for this document type. And then I'll click on OK. And we can see that fixes our issue. Because all of those are document type 004, I'll just move on to the next type with an error. On this case, type 005 right here. And we can see there is also a problem with the invoice total. On this case, the invoice total is on the right place, but there is a tax total value here that do not belong, and also the net total value that is being detected on the wrong place. First, I'm going to create a new IntelliTag for net total. So I'll we'll click on the net total field, make sure we have the IntelliTag search tool selected. And then we're going to create an IntelliTag for total net. Again, we make sure we have nearest valid amount and also IntelliTag only for this document type. And then we click on OK. There we go. Now the net total is going to the right field. Let's make sure that our tax total is selecting this zero right here. So once again, I'm going to click on the tax total field, make sure we have the IntelliTag tool selected, and then create the IntelliTag for total VAT. Again, nearest valid amount, and also IntelliTag only for this document type, because a type-specific IntelliTag will take priority over the global IntelliTags. We click OK, and then there we go. The document is no longer in error. So let's move on to the next document type with error. There we go, type 010. Let's open and check. We have one problem with invoice number. 
that is being detected on the wrong place and also with the invoice total which is also being detected on the wrong place so we're going to do two different things first for the invoice number fields we're going to have to use an OCR zone to capture this data so we're going to click on the invoice number fields make sure we have selected the OCR zones mode and then we're going to create our OCR zone right here now for the total amounts we have this net total being detected on the wrong place so let's make sure it is reading this as the total amount I'll click on the field click on the IntelliTag tool and then again create an IntelliTag with amount again nearest valid amount and only for this document type I click OK and then we can see the net total is on the right field for the invoice total we are also going to have trouble so I'll click on the invoice total fields and then select the OCR zone 2 I'm going to create the zone right here make sure I can capture any kind of amount and we can see we have some problems here and to fix it all we need to do is open the read settings for the OCR zone and then we need to tinker around with the options right here all I need to do to fix this error is just turn off the auto adjust filter right here and then the data is good so we just click OK and move along we also might want to make sure that our tax total is always on the right place so we could create an OCR zone as well to make sure that all the changes we made are not breaking any of the other document types I'm going to select all documents again reset them and then I'm going to select everything and process one more time just to make sure there are no errors with everything processed we can see that there are no errors so the data is good to export we could go further and check the documents without an invoice date and then correct them by either adding the needed IntelliTags tags or creating OCR zones linked to triggers and ultimately if nothing works we go for manual capture you can learn a lot more about triggers and IntelliTags tags on all of the other videos we have on our YouTube channel so that's it I hope you liked it and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial bye bye